That's right, it's still 420, April 20th, my birthday, 36 today. And yes, I share a birthday with Adolf Hitler, not that I'm proud about that, but I also share a birthday with Joey Lawrence from a show called Blossom, and he was later on Dancing with the Stars, if you happen to know who that guy is. Now, we do have a comment, here it is. We do have a comment that I think is actually kind of appropriate for 420, because we all know something else that 420 symbolizes even though believe me or not but i've never consumed marijuana in any way fact trivia okay muhammad ali had this to say and welcome back by the way muhammad uh he said this in the video why do you care how other men handle their hair loss i made that video here's what he had to say about it quote and this is a paraphrase because it was a longer comment but he says quote hey nick what do you think of products like propecia and rogaine are you taking any of them? Do you think these products give balding or thinning men false hope? And drug companies are taking advantage of this to take to make money. End quote. So, before I answer, here's I got to give this disclaimer. I understand that my opinion that I'm about to give is about to turn some of you against me, like passionately against me. Some of you are going to hate me after I express my opinion on this. But I want to be so clear that this is my opinion. It is not what you should do. It is not what you should think. What you should think is whatever you think. Forget my opinion. It's just my opinion. So I'm not here to tell you to believe a different way. But Muhammad Ali, my good friend here, has asked my opinion and I'm simply sharing my opinion. So here we go. What do I think about products about like Propecia and Rogaine? And do I use any of them? No, I, I definitely don't use those. Of course, as we know, I'm in the, uh, I'm using all the essential oils right now, including rosemary oil and that sort of stuff, to experiment to see if it works. Uh, because supposedly, uh, it, could, it could work. So I wanna test that out. But as far as prescription drugs, no. I'm not using anything like that, and I never have. And uh, the next question, do you think these products basically give false hope? I'm not going to say false hope because there's people who swear by them. Uh, there's people who say they definitely work and they're so glad that they have them. So the fact that people have given po positive testimonies tells me that it's not false hope. There is some hope in it for sure for, for those people. Uh, the last part, are drug companies taking advantage of this to make money? Well, you know, that's a, that's a very interesting question because I think we, if we pan back the camera from this question here. We could say that about anything. Are drug companies taking advantage of not only men that are experiencing balding or thinning, but with people that suffer from, and then you name it, and it doesn't even have to be a necessarily a, a medical condition per se, because I'm sorry, but I don't consider hair loss a medical condition. Yes, you can get prescription drugs to help with it, but as far as like, I don't know if you're a diabetic and you have to get prescription drugs to live and to survive. Like, okay, I get that. But like, there's obviously this gradient scale on one, at some point we're gonna be reaching some gray area where it's like, mm, you know, as far as uh, morality goes, uh, is this right or wrong that we're giving drugs out for all of this stuff? You know, um, I, I raise my eye eyebrow at a lot of prescription drugs that are on the market. And so I guess for the way I'm going to answer the question is I can't single out drug companies for wanting to uh, cater to people with hair loss, those insecurities they have, because there's so many things that drug companies cater to. And hair loss is just one of them. So ultimately what I would say is if a person really felt that they need to take a, a drug uh, to to grow their hair or at least have a chance at hair if that's what they needed to do to be happy I mean you know that's what they they choose but you are asking me specifically personally how I feel so I'm gonna say I'm gonna say no I, in fact I'm very leery on prescription drugs um, despite being born on 420 what that implies I'm actually very leery on prescription drugs I I'm not on any for me fundamentally as a as a, the healthy, crazy guy I am being a vegan, I am, I do everything I can to avoid being on any kind of drugs. Uh, even painkillers like Tylenol, I, I, if, if it's just a headache that won't go away, fine, I'll take it. But I just really don't like taking drugs. 
I like being in control of my own body and especially I don't I just don't trust I don't trust drugs whether they're legal or not especially I mean because we I mean as as I've made a video before you can google even Propecia side effects and see what pops up I've done a video on that which was very unpopular because people got upset when they when they when I simply read the side effects that Propecia themselves puts out uh, so it's very interesting to me but I just I have a general distrust for prescription drugs I'm not on any and my whole goal is to stay off of them as long as I can I, I don't want to take a pill that makes my heart work right or blood pressure or you know blood diabetes whatever it is I don't feel good about being dependent on a drug of course there's 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 gray areas there there's you know, there's caffeine, for example, which even then I regulate. I only have like 60 milligrams a day in my coffee. So I'm just very leery on drugs. So as far as what other people do, that's fine. There's a market for that. I, I really can't fault the drug companies. They're, that's how they make money. And there's, and it's just like if you were a surgeon. If you were a surgeon and say you went to school and you learned how to, uh, do like reconstructive surgery let's say someone was in a car accident and it was really bad and they had plastic surgery and had facial reconstruction surgery and then you compare that with with someone who wants to look like a human barbie and they were already beautiful but then they want to look literally like a toy doll you know and you're the surgeon well do you pick and choose what you want to do there and that's kind of how i feel like with the drug companies i think they're doing a lot good a lot to help people and I think that when it comes to hair loss drugs, that's just kind of one of those gray areas. If people think that they need that, then that's, that's their deal. But just me personally, I definitely have a distrust for prescription drugs when it comes to hair loss. But I have a distrust for drugs in general. So again, I'm not putting down just Propecia or Rogaine or something like that. I'm, I'm saying in general, I don't trust drugs. And I'm not on drugs, and I don't need drugs to survive or be healthy at this point in my life. And the, my goal is to never do that. I don't like drugs, despite being born on 420.